today is a little bit of lamb 101. Um, first is this little guy, okay, and he has had a very traumatic birth. This is from one of our use that has an iron deficiency. If you're a mom or you've ever given birth, you know that um, anemia is an issue. And this little guy's mom is never supposed to be bred. And we were super careful this year and we're not real sure how this happened. Um, honestly, uh, super, super careful. Last year she snuck in on us. And this year we were absolutely not going to. We took every precaution we can think of. We're not sure how this happened, honestly. Um, now, problem is this little guy is was found in a mud puddle. Reba's in the barn doing okay. Um, RJ's got her up, got her pump full of electrolytes, um, iron, giving her extra shots, called the vet. Um, anyway, the one thing that people overlook when they are trying to raise body temperature on a little goat or lamb. Lambs don't regulate their body heat for the first 24 hours. Wrapping them in a blanket is never enough. You have to introduce some heat. So um, you can see we have several things. We have a heater right here which is burning my foot but he needs the, it is a little boy, he needs the heat. So we're introducing heat at different times. This in here is super warm now and that's what's going to raise his body temperature not his body temperature not his own warmth staying in these blankets it's warmth that you introduce biggest mistake is that people don't introduce um, heat is they wrap them in a blanket and hold them close to them and think that's going to be enough that is not enough um, you need extra heat sources also in this big jumble of blankets all which have come out of the dryer by the way they're added in layers coming out of the dryer there's this other cord and this is a heating pad, and he is on top of the heating pad on low. Um, and then we have our handy-dandy blow dryer. And yes, we heat the towel with this, not him, because it will actually burn his skin. So we heat the towel and then put another layer on it and sandwich him in with all of this um, heat. And he's now looking better. He's still shaking. He's your mama's little baby, huh? Yeah. Still shaking. He's had colostrum. We are always ready with colostrum during lambing season. And he just cold. So I'm going to get off here and blow dry. All right, RJ. So how did our morning go? I got up. I went out to feed in the rain. And Reba was down. Ran back in the house to get mom for help. And mom seen this little guy laying on the ground a ways away from her that I hadn't seen. Then mom took care of this one, got it up and around, and I got Reba up and around, and here we are now. Okay, so that was pretty fast. What does that mean Reba was down? She was just laying on her side. Just Jethro was trying to help. Yep. Yep. Who do you think cleaned that lamb off? Probably Jethro. He was trying to help. So um, when you say, here we are, where's Reba? She's in the barn. How's she doing? She's up and around. She's eating yep. just thin, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to pull this lamb. She won't see the lamb. It, it'll just be easier if she thinks that it's gone, correct? Yep. And uh, took us about an hour to get him uh, warmed up, right? He was... Closer to two. That is. Noon. It's already noon. Oh, my goodness. I went to town and came back. You went to town and come back and... What'd you go to town for? I had to get nipple and milk replacer because we can't find our bag of nipples. So yeah. I had to get milk replacer. So we just got a new one. Yep. But now. Get the dog. Get the dog. At Moose. Moose doesn't always play nice. So pretty much we're going to have us a little bottle, baby. Correct? Yep. All right. We won't be a little for long. No. What kind is he? He's Dorset Moreno. Well, we don't know. His legs look Shetland, so do his ears. I don't know what she got with, do you? No. He's half Dorset. <laughs> He's half Dorset. That's all we know is what Mama came from. He's still dirty. 
but we can't wash him, can we? I just got him warmed up. So, and he's got a full belly. He went right on the bottle. Um, got him colostrum. Got him colostrum, right? Yep. And so, all we got to figure out right now, we're using the pig's kennel um, to put him in with the heater on it so that it stays nice and warm right there. Um, what are we going to do tonight? Um, He'll sleep with you, right? <laughs> not it. <laughs> that is our sign for not it or not me. And that means he doesn't want to get up at every two hours and feed him. But we put a kennel in my room, but I don't want to share my bed. Oh, he's falling over. He really does love to be held already, though, huh? Yeah, he does. And that's where he's happiest, right there. All right. We're gonna get off here and find some breakfast. I'm still, we're still covered in mud, huh? And I stink like sheep and umbilical and ugh, all kinds of stuff. So, all right. Okay, so for right now, he's kenneled while I try to clean up. This is the harsh reality. This is towels, blankets, all kinds of stuff that we use to heat him up. Um, and, yeah, a lot of laundry. So, but that's what you get in return right there. And two of them are still in there. And I have two clean ones.